Hello everyone, my name is Ian Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install probably one of the best graphics mods you can get at the minute for 5M and that is going to be NVE. So NVE unfortunately at the minute, although you can get free early access story mode, for 5M you are going to have to pay. Nothing to do with me but hit the link down in the description below. Subscribe to Raised Patreons, he definitely deserves it for what the amount of work he puts in. You know, it doesn't really deserve to be free at the minute. But, you know, subscribe. You only have to pay once. You can cancel straight after. And then right here, you should be able to see at the top will be pinned the latest versions to download. And once you have downloaded them, mine shall be right here. You should be greeted with your NVE 5M package. It will give you the option between a 5M package and a story mode. Obviously, pretty self-explanatory. Choose the 5M package. And inside of here will be the reshade shaders, optional add-ons, and the main package. So this is going to be something very, very simple that I don't see a lot of people do. And it's going to be how to find your 5M folders. So very simply, go to the search bar in the bottom left. Find 5M. So search 5M. Right click on it. Open file location. That will bring you to a shortcut. Right click on it again and do the exact same thing. Open file location. And just like that, very easily, you don't have to trace through a bunch of files or folders. It takes you straight to your 5M folder. Now you can create a shortcut if you want to, if you haven't already. Or you can just keep doing that over and over again whenever you guys want to get to your 5M directory. But anyway, to install the mod, go into your 5M application data folder. And if you go inside of our main package folder right here, you're going to be greeted with two folders, plugins and mods. And as you can see right here in your 5M application data folder, there's going to be two matching folders for plugins and mods. Now we're going to install the mods first, which is going to be our graphics mods themselves. So if we open up the mods folder on both of our directories, and inside of your NVE will be all of these files right here. Very, very simply, all you guys are going to want to do, select them all and drag and drop them all into your mods folder like this. Very simple, very, very easy. And within usually about two minutes, maybe a second, a couple of seconds, it, does, it depends on your PC specs, it should be done copying over. And once those have copied over, we're going to go back on our download and this time open up our plugins folder and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go back to our 5M application data folder and open up our plugins folder very, very simply from here we're going to grab both of these and drag and drop them into our plugins folder just like that very easy and very very simple now the next step is going to be installing our reshade shaders so if you guys haven't already installed reshade then make sure you guys watch my previous video on how to install reshade and then you can install these reshade shaders you cannot install this without previously having reshade although if you don't want to use reshade you don't have to it is an optional thing. If you don't want to use Reshade, feel free not to. NVE will still work and will still look probably just as good as long as your settings are on max. But since we do have Reshade installed, all we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these right here. And very, very simply, we're going to put them where our Reshade is installed. So mine is installed right here. So it's going to be a matter of just drag and dropping and replacing. But if your Reshade isn't installed here, some people, it sort of depends on the latest versions of your GTA 5 or your 5M. But if you followed my tutorial, then your reshade shaders and everything else will be installed here as well. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to grab all of these and drag and drop them into our plugins folder. And since I already have reshade installed and it's going to update some shaders, it's going to ask me to replace some files in the destinations. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace. And then once you guys have done that, we can go back to our optional add-ons folder. And inside of here, there is absolutely tons and tons of things that we can add in to make the game look 10 times better. And all of these, most of these will go into our mods folder right here. So, so for instance, if you wanted a sandstorm weather effects, they're pretty cool. So we'll put those in. Obviously, we have options here between sandstorm weather and global effect and also just sandstorm desert effect. So if you want to install that, you guys can see it matches the same file types and very, very similar file name format to the ones in our mods. So that's how we know that that's where it goes in here. So we want sandstorms, we're going to drag and drop it in just like so and pretty much do the exact same thing for every other optional add-on. So this is a really, really good one, the weapons overhaul pack. So we'll put that in right here, just like so. And one below it, the weather override. So here you can have foggy, deep and hurricane. Pretty cool. I'm not going to install that. It's a little bit over the top. Autumn se season pack. That's pretty cool. Obviously, if you, I'm pretty sure there's different requirements with what you need and also some maps don't work very well. If you wanted to install that feel free to do so and this one especially if you guys are playing police service is really really important the brighter emergency lights so it's installed 
preset with your NVE. You don't have to change anything. I'm going to go for the high intensity because I like bright police lights. So we're going to drag and drop them in like so. There's also one more if I can find it here. Enhanced motion blur. We'll install that too. And uh, we'll do third person. I like motion blur. Some people don't. And then this is the best one right here. The parallax road and pavements overhaul. This is a little bit intense. So if you guys haven't got the best PC, then obviously you can always tone things down. But this changes the load, the road even, the ro what the roads look like and the pavements tons. It looks so much better and way more modern and up to date. So we're going to install that as well. That one is a little bit bigger, as you guys can imagine, because it is a complete overhaul of the roads. But other than that, I'm going to leave it there for the amount of little optional extras we have. I don't need any others. But if you guys want to install any others, it's very, very simple. Just make sure you check the file name if it has to go in mods or plugins. Drag and drop it in. And just like that, it is done. So now we can load in to our 5M server. And once you guys are in game, you should be able to notably see a absolutely massive difference. I mean, this just looks 10 times better than what it did before. It's just way, way crisper. We actually tab in a minute. It's way, way crisper. Everything just looks absolutely stunning as well. And obviously, depending on the add-ons you added in, you might have the parallax roads. It looks great. And obviously, including our reshade, all you guys are going to need to do to open up your reshade. Mine is bound to my insert key. But yours might be bound to home. But I'm just going to press the insert key or home, whatever it is. And you should be able to see a new little tab called NVE. And right here, you can configure all of the NVE settings. So say if I wanted to change the color, if we click on this and turn it on and off, you guys can see there's a bunch of different options like color boost filters. It gets a lot, lot more colorful here. Put it back to default or warm filter so it's a lot warmer. You can also get a retro filter and like a VHS filter, old cam filter really really cool and obviously you can do the same through here so you can edit literally everything that it uses obviously you can turn on and off amd fidelity effects and things like that you can also add your own effects if you wanted to there's tons and tons of stuff you guys can do so i hope you guys did find this video useful if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe and comment down below what video you guys want to see next since i'm always looking for ideas and at these days you know i'm kind of hitting rock bottom so please let me know what you want to see next. And also be sure to check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting, down in the description below. And use code HIROTROOPER, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off your next product with them. That could be a 5M server, that could be a VPS, or a Minecraft server. Literally any game server in the world, they have it. So be sure to check them out down in the description below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.